This is so crooked. What's up, y'all? Good morning. Happy Friday or whenever you're watching this video. So, y'all, I've been trying to find Makeup by Mario is coming out with a new setting spray and a new powder. And I'm trying to figure out what day it launches. It's on the website, but you can't purchase it yet. So I'm trying to figure out what day it launches, but clearly it's not yet because I can't, I can't, I can't purchase it. And then Huda Beauty is coming out with a new foundation as well that I'm super excited to try. It's a blurring foundation and I am just, I'm super excited to try it. I've definitely been buying more makeup in the last couple of months than I have like over the whole year. Um, I need sunglasses. some sunglasses I can't go anywhere without sunglasses because it's sunny and I can't see um but yeah I've definitely been buying more makeup I think I'm gonna go through and just do like a not a full declutter but just a whole like little just get rid of a few things um as I'm going through my makeup collection because I think it needs it all right hold on I'm gonna run and get me some sunglasses all right, I'm back. So, how do you introduce myself? My name is Cece. For those of you who don't know, we talk about productivity, our corporate careers, and just all around how to be a badass woman on this channel. So, if that is something you're interested in, I would love for you to stick around and hang out with your girl. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, all the things, okay? So, um, yeah, like I was saying, I'll probably do like a little makeshift declutter real, real soon just because yeah that's what's going on um i've been buying more makeup than usual this thing is not like stable um but this morning it's friday august 30th august 30th um the month is over baby and we are heading into september september is like outside of like christmas and um yeah, outside of like Christmas and probably February because that's my birthday month, September is my favorite month. And September is my favorite month because it just feels like a new beginning, right? Still nice outside, but you can feel like the cool air coming, the fall activity start, and fall is my favorite season. And it's, like I said, it's still nice outside. You can still do outdoor activities, but you can just feel the fall coming. Like that's, I just love freaking September. And again, it just feels like a new beginning. You get back to structure, the kids are back in school, my life gets structured back up again, and it just feels really, 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 really good. So um, I'm so excited for September. But this morning, we are actually headed to Target um, just to do a little fall browsing. I want to spend some money on um, some fall some fall decor this year. I feel like I didn't really buy any last year. And I'll add to it every year. Just add a little bit to it every year. But I feel like I didn't really buy any last year. And I just, I don't know. I just feel like a little refresh of my decor. I'm probably doing the bulk of the shopping tomorrow. So I'll take you guys with me. I'm going to have Mark kind of drive me around. And we're going to go to several different stores. Because I'm also looking for a chair to go in my bedroom. I feel like every time I'm in my bedroom, I'm sitting in the bed, like sitting up in the bed, propped up against the headboard. And like sometimes I'm in there for hours at a time, like editing and stuff. That's where I primarily do my editing. But I want a chair to go in that room and like a really comfortable kind of oversized chair to go in the corner. So we're going to move the room around and find us a chair. And I think I found one at um, at home yesterday but i wanted to go to home goods first and maybe a furniture store tomorrow and see just what i can see like see if they have anything better but i want a chair i want to be able to put my feet up i want it to be really comfortable and so that's what i'm kind of on the hunt for in like the two to four hundred dollar range uh so nothing super expensive but i want it to be a nice comfortable chair so and we're gonna go to Home Goods tomorrow, so I figured since we're going to Home Goods, I can do the bulk of my fall shopping there. But today, I want to go to Target, and I might pop into TJ Maxx just to see what they have as well. Um, I also want to see some of the fall clothes because I heard Target has some of their fall clothes out and all of that. So I just want to see what they got. 
um i haven't like walked through target in a couple weeks so we're gonna do that and then i'm gonna get back home we actually have a recharge day at work today so it's the perfect day to do this so before holidays usually we get a recharge day which i mean it's kind of like a like a catch-all day it's a good day for like heads down work like there's no meeting scheduled and it's just a really good day for head down work um I honestly worked super late yesterday getting some things done because I knew I wanted to make a run this morning so I worked really late getting a lot of my stuff done so I'm probably gonna take most of the day like like take off most of the day I'm still like answering slacks and emails and stuff and I still have to go home and do some work plus I did work this morning but um, for the most part it's pretty much a free day which is really nice like we get these days um, not completely free but again like it's like a no meeting day get your work done maybe cut out a little early if you can like day like that so I just I love my schedule I love how flexible it is and that I'm able to do things like this like just chef's kiss love it I'm also gonna film a Q&A very very soon um, like a corporate girl Q&A um, I'm trying to figure out how to structure it so if you guys have any questions or any topics you want me to hit or anything you even want me to do like a deep dive um, single video on let me know and I will get those filmed because I want to get back into more like structured corporate girl content so let me know what you guys want to know about what you guys want to hear about the job search process the you know working in tech remote work anything like that how to get promoted raises let me know and we'll we'll chat okay okay so um yeah i've rambled enough i am going to catch you guys in target <laughs>
coming in Joann's and finding all the good stuff for 50% off and 60% off. Is this stuff not the cutest? I can't even steer the cart. I'm looking for a big vase, like a really tall vase, so I can put like the tall florals in them. I might have to go back to at home or home goods might have one because I want to get some really tall florals. Um, yeah, I want to get some really tall florals to put somewhere in the house. Okay, y'all, I had to switch cars um, because remember I told you me and Mark were supposed to go to home goods tomorrow? Well, um, we actually have a long day tomorrow, and I was like, I just called him. Um, who is that? Um, is it just that our car's right here? Yeah, I just parked weird. Okay, so we, um, there, actually, someone at our church passed away this week. Um, RIP to Miss Lockett. Such a, a nice lady. Um, she had to be close to 90, I think and she got sick and just passed away uh this week so mark went to the church to help direct um traffic for the funeral so you know just to show people where to park and everything because it's like a smaller street so um he had just gotten back and i was like okay let's just go to home goods today we could just run down there today and see if they have the chair and then if not um come back and we can cut down on our running tomorrow because tomorrow Oh, our church is having a, a block party so we got to be at the church pretty much all day doing stuff for the block party so I was like let's just go today but he actually has a meeting at one so I'm going to run to home goods and just see if they have the chair I'm sure they can help like get someone to help me bring it to the car if they do if not I think I'm gonna get him like at one o'clock I'll get him to go back to at home because it's right around the corner so I'll just get him to go back to at home with me and we'll grab the chair that we saw yesterday because I want to get this whole chair business situated this weekend while it's a long weekend um because we have to kind of rearrange the bedroom a little bit so i just want to get it done this weekend get what i what i want and be done with it so i'm gonna go see what home goods has um as far as a chair goes and i'm also gonna look for some more fall decor you guys i went a little ham and joann's as you saw they had such a good sale 50 percent off all of the fall decor um 50 and 60 percent off depending on the brand some stuff was was 60 percent off so i got some really good fall decor at joann's i got a few things at tj maxx a few fall decor pieces at tj maxx and then of course i have my existing pieces so these are just pieces that are going to supplement i think i want to change up like the color scheme just a little bit in the house like normally i go with that that normal like orange burgundy ish color scheme and i want to change that up just slightly and do more neutral like add more browns in there more kind of neutral creams browns like grown-up colors you know um and not like that traditional like orange yellow like gold orange fall color that we would traditionally think of that like burnt orange like if I can just go a little more neutral a little more brownie I know I still have like I feel like that that goldish color is really like juvenile and I want to like grown up it up a little bit you know I want to be a little more of a grown up uh with my with my decor so that's the plan I don't exactly know what my color scheme is gonna be um, but when I get home and I put some shit together, we'll see how it all turns out. But I want, again, I want it to be less of the overpowering burnt orange, gold, yellow to more of the like neutral, deeper brown, burgundy aesthetic. And so that's the stuff that I'm buying and I'll figure out how it kind of goes and flows together with my existing decor once I pull everything out. So with my decor, like I don't use everything. Um, I don't use everything every year. And then I think it's also time to purge a lot of stuff too. So one of my goals for uh, Q4 is, well, September and then Q4 also, 
um, is to clean out. I want to clean out. We have this um, like room in the basement that used to be our gym. We now use the garage for our gym and just go to the gym. But we have this room in the basement that we were using for the gym. So I want to clean out. Now it's just storage and it's just shit thrown in there. All of my decor. So I want to purge and clean out that room. Label everything really nicely so it's just easier to pull my decor out every year. Um, so that's like one of my goals for the next few months and probably I'm probably gonna do that after the fall before Christmas like when I pull everything out for Christmas um, I'm probably gonna get new like a few new decor pieces for Christmas time too but after we pull everything out for Christmas and I put everything back for fall I'm gonna like purge I'm gonna label things and I want to get that room kind of in order too and that'll just help me also know what I have and know where my stuff is because sometimes the core is like all over the house but anyway um, as I was saying, we're going to head to get to look in home goods just to see if they have my chair and, um, see what other type of fall decor we can get. And then we're going to head home. I have a workout class scheduled. It's noon now. Excuse me. I have a workout class scheduled at 415. So we're going to run this afternoon as well. And, um, like I said, I have one meeting today at six o'clock that I have to, I have to, have to be on. But other than that, today's going to be a little bit of a chill day. Well, not chill, but chill in the sense of work chill, <laughs> work chill. So let's head there. Oh, you know what else I want to do? Target has new, I know we just went to Target, but the Target I went to doesn't, always have the future collective collections and a new future collective collection came out um there was a new drop so i want to see if this other target over here by home goods has that collection and we're gonna go check that out too because if they have some pieces i want to grab some pieces from that collection as well um because i saw some really 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 cute ones so let's go look Why is it 91 degrees out today? It is so hot outside. Jeez. So I went to Home Goods. I didn't really see anything. Um, well, I saw some chairs, but they were more expensive than the chairs I saw yesterday at, at home. And I like those chairs that at home better. Um, so I think I'm gonna go to at home. Hopefully they have someone who can help me get it in my car because I'm just gonna get the chair from at home and call it a day um, but first target of course 
I haven't even gotten an apple croissant today and I've been to two Targets and I've passed countless Starbucks. <laughs> Why was I in at home? I was, my eyes on the road as I drove us back to King's Dream. I was just in at home for about an hour. Y'all, it is 2.30. After 2.30. I was at at home for about an hour. I found the perfect chair on clearance. On clearance for $150. 50 percent off. So I was like, oh yes, let me get this chair. There was, so I thought, a taupe one and a pink one. Like a blush color. And so I had the lady come over uh, to pull it out, see how much it was. It was 150 because it was a, a half off. I was like, oh my God, that's per the perfect chair. Grab the taupe one. And so they bring it up. For me and the lady have a whole conversation about, oh yeah, there's a taupe one, there's a blush one. And I was like, yeah, I don't want the blush one. I need the taupe. Like that's the one I want. And both of us were like, yeah, it's so cute. The box says taupe, all this. Um, and so she grab like she grabs it, brings it up front, and then um, I'm sorry, the box must have said blush. I don't think I, I didn't look at the color. The box says blush, but the picture is like a taupey color. It, at least it looks taupe. It looks completely different from the other box. Me and the the person who the the person who was working there confirmed one was taupe, one was pink. We had an entire conversation. I get outside 
after they bring it up front and I look at the box and I'm like wait a minute is that color pink like I'm taking off my sunglasses like oh I'm like I think she grabbed the wrong one I wanted the taupe one and so we go back there I go back in we go back there baby ain't no taupe one both of them are blush color both of them are pink and I'm like you gotta be freaking kidding me like it was a discontinued model and I'm like you gotta be kidding me wait a minute I, no I'm not crazy there was a taupe one here like I had a whole conversation with the other lady about it being taupe like there has to be a taupe one baby it must have been the lighting in the store or something because there was no taupe chair and so I was so excited about getting this chair did not get it so I don't know I just need a mental break right now because now I'm pissed and I just need like a little a little mental break um Maybe I'll, I'll drag Mark back out in the morning and we'll go back and we'll look at some more and get the one I want. Because there was another one. It was $300, but now I'm like pissed that I got to pay $300 for it when I saw the perfect chair for $150 or so I thought. So now I'm like, I don't want to pay fucking $300 for the chair, but I just probably, I guess I'll have to. I don't know, but that is so disappointing that's so flipping disappointing y'all i just knew i found my chair and for cheap and i bought the ottoman they had an ottoman like all their ottomans were on sale um like their specific type for 30 dollars. so i bought an ottoman and i bought a bunch more decor back there which i was so excited about i bought a throw blanket to go on my taupe chair and there was no taupe chair so now I just feel like an idiot. I don't even feel like going to work out. Like I feel like I'm going to skip my running class today. I've been out all day. I am kind of tired actually. And I just feel like I want to skip this class. I do have this meeting at six. I don't know. I don't know what I'm about to do yet, but I'm so disappointed. I am so disappointed. WTF. I will do a little haul when you home. I'll show you guys everything I got today, but I gotta figure out this chair situation because now I'm just like I'm annoyed I'm annoyed and I kind of don't know where else to go to find a good chair that's not gonna break the bank like we have an Ashley furniture right here but I feel like that chair is gonna be like $800 and I'm not trying to spend $800 on a chair so because I was thinking about going there earlier but I'm not trying to spend that type of money I, I want a nice little on the cheaper side accent chair for three hundred four hundred dollars which they had some ones for they did have some for three four hundred dollars but uh, yeah the one I really like was 349 um, but now I'm sick about it cuz the same chair and blush is only a hundred and fifty dollars I just don't want blush <sighs> all right I gotta think this through y'all let's get home what's up y'all we're home I'm about to turn on some lights so y'all can see the craziness that is my office I had all the mark bring up all the fall decor um, when I got home and if you could see all the stuff I bought you guys did I tell you yeah I told y'all about the chair I told y'all what happened where's the light I told y'all what happened to the chair um so I didn't get the chair but I ordered one and I will post it right up here and I'll link it down below that's the chair I got it's supposed to be here Sunday so I'll still get this like taken care of this weekend but I just don't have it like today which kind of sucks because I wanted to like rearrange it today um but it is what it is the chair will be here on sunday i'll still have time this weekend to rearrange my room and everything but let me show y'all what i got it's the way it looks in here is sick so don't even don't even okay so everything in these blue bags these are my fall decor from last year these bales of hay my fall decor fall decor fall decor fall decor more fall decor which um yeah we're gonna have to set this stuff out and see how we want to set it up i have my huge pumpkin these are my mom's from trader joe's oh, they look so good i bought these last week still looking good i just need to change the water but yeah but that's the huge pumpkin i bought 
um this is a sign from last year i'm still trying to figure out which sign i'm gonna put out because i bought a new one but all this all this i got a tons of stuff at at home they just had such a good sale i got a lot of their clearance stuff and then i also purchased i went back to joann's and got some tall florals to go in these these right here which i'll show you guys in a second i'll just pull everything out and show y'all what i bought but i just wanted to give y'all an overview of what my damn office looks like because yeah yeah so we're gonna like i'm we're gonna do a little haul and then we're gonna get this together okay so before we even like jump in before i sit down the first thing I want to show y'all is this stool right here. So I got this to go with my taupe chair that I thought I was getting and obviously I didn't get that. But this will still go with the chair that I got. So this stool was on sale for $29.99. I picked it up. I love it and I think it's going to go with all of my stuff. So um, yeah, I'm going to sit on this for the video but super excited about it. Alright, we might as well stick with, well, we'll be jumping all over the place but um i got this from at home also this is a gray rug and it's just gonna go underneath the chair um yeah i just thought a nice little fuzzy rug to go underneath the chair was really nice this was $19.99 so super inexpensive uh for a rug because girl rugs are expensive like don't let rugs fool you they're expensive all right next i found the sign i ended up getting another welcome sign i don't know if i'm gonna keep this or not we'll see but this is it just says welcome it has a little pumpkin um i feel like i like my autumn sign better or just as good so this might go back i don't know but there's that like I just showed y'all, I got two of these. These bad boys are huge, but they're so nice to put like some tall floral in. I don't exactly know. I feel like I want to redress this front area of the house because people just drop things here and it ends up looking super messy. I don't like it and I just got to figure out. Yeah, I just got to figure out how it's going to work best, but I got two of those. Okay, uh, next on the list, let me see. I got a new wreath for the front door. I thought she was so adorable. Kind of incorporates all the colors. Plus, I cannot wait to decorate the porch. I'm going to do that soon. I don't know if I'm going to film it, but um, I am going to decorate the porch really soon. So I got a new wreath for the porch. And then I chose that wreath. Like It was between that one and another one. But I chose that one for the porch because I also got the matching like garland to go with it. So I'm going to also hang these on our pillars on the porch. And so it'll just like match the wreath and tie everything together. Oh my God, I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited. Um, I also got this garland. I don't know if I want to keep this or not. This one might go back or maybe I'll exchange it for another one. But I was thinking of putting this on the fireplace mantle. I'm still trying to decide. But I'm thinking about putting this on the fireplace mantle right here. It even feels weird just saying the word fireplace mantle knowing that it was 90 something degrees outside today. <laughs> today and we're like decorating the mantle of the fireplace. But yeah. This is really, really pretty. I love those colors and I feel like they'll bring out like my colors in my living room really well because we have that blue couch. Um, I got a bunch of these long florals to go in that vase. So this one was really cute. Like this was $8.99 at home and I think it was 50% off I want to say, but I think these were just nice little accent florals to go with the rest of them. So here are the rest of the long florals that I got. I'm just gonna make like two separate bouquets. I also have some more from before that I have, but I'm gonna make like two separate bouquets. I got like some pompous grass and some fall leaves and I got some color to go in there. This really pretty burgundy color. So just so many cute fall florals and Joanne Fabric had all the fall florals for all the florals period like 60 50 and 60 percent off so i kind of went crazy in there and got a bunch of florals i grabbed this wreath from tj maxx this was going to be my front porch wreath until i saw the other one 
but I think this one is so pretty. So this one just might be on the inside of the house. Some, well, it's not might, it will be on the inside of the house somewhere. So I don't know if I'm going to put this on the other side of the front door or maybe on the like basement door or the pantry door. I don't know yet, but I love this. And this is kind of, I, I wanted this for the front, the front um, door. But then I was also thinking about that it could be on the inside too, just because of the neutrals. Remember I told you guys I wanted more of kind of a muted toned house like that definitely goes with that theme. So really cute. I got Big Mama here, this big pumpkin. This one was a good price too. This one was $30 I think it was on sale. So I got this one at a really good price and this is going to go outside on the porch with my porch decor what else we got in here i got all kind of stuff y'all i just got a ton of balsa um this little guy i don't know exactly where it's going but i love the neutrality of it i got this from tj maxx and i just no i got this from joann's and no either joann yeah joann's this was from joann's but I just thought this was really cute. I love the neutrality of it. I think this might end up being on my um, on my front entryway table. Pretty sure this might end up there. Um, another another little fall garland. I don't know exactly where this is going, but I'll figure it out. But this was like four dollars, so just another little fall garland um some new hand towels so hello autumn welcome to our patch just some cute hand towels to go on the stove for the kitchen i forgot about this stuff i did get more stuff from tj maxx so i know i said i wanted neutral but i also i need some color right so look at this guy is this not so beautiful y'all is this not so pretty oh my god so i got this i have no idea where she's going but she's gonna go somewhere we're gonna find somewhere for her and i picked up oh some fresh apple crisp foaming hand soap from tj maxx as well as a candle i got the sand and fog um white cranberry this smelled so good and it has like the little fall leaves on it not that i don't still have a ton of candles because i do but this is so cute oh it smells so good too i'm like putting it up to you like you can smell it um and then lastly for the decor stuff i got oh we needed some new oven mitts, so I just picked up some new oven mitts. But lastly, for the decor stuff, I just got this throw blanket, and I got it to be like a little decorative piece in our bedroom when I get my chair. So this was gonna go on the chair, and it goes perfectly with the footstool I'm sitting on, and everything is just gonna gonna flow so nicely in that room. I cannot wait. So um, yeah, I got this for the chair. And then also for me to sit on the chair, I need a little blanket, you know, cause I'm gonna be editing, I'm having my, I cannot wait to get my chair, I'm so excited. So, is that everything? I think that's everything y'all. I picked up some like clothing at Target too. So I got these cute, like all the jeans, the clothes were like 20% off. So I got these really cute wide leg, like green pants. I thought these were really, really cute. Uh, for the fall so I picked those up and I'm hoping they're a little baggy and a little oversized I'm gonna try them on but we'll see I got these really adorable shorts like just some like like walk around the house shorts you know even for the next couple of months I could walk around the streets with these some sweat shorts I got this cute shirt like a high neck um a high neck longer shirt and then i got that one future collective shirt which um 
I didn't end up getting the peplum one because I sat there and thought about it and I was like, girl, when are you going to wear that peplum shirt? Like the likelihood of you wearing that peplum shirt is so low or you're only going to wear it once and it was $30 and I just didn't want to spend it. So I ended up just picking up this one from the Future Collective collection and it's just a regular basic white top. Oh, and I didn't even show you this. I did get this too, another fall item. So this is going to go at our front door we love her so cute but y'all that's it that's everything i picked all of that up today we spent some money today okay um but i got everything i wanted to get and i'm so excited to start decorating i'm just gonna start like sitting everything out so i can see what i have and start to visualize where i want different pieces so that's probably what i'm gonna do this weekend like i said i don't know if i'm filming it just I don't know if I'm gonna film it or not, but um, I was gonna make this a weekend vlog, but honestly, y'all, I feel like this is enough for one video. Hopefully you enjoyed running errands with me and picking out all this fall decor and the fall haul and all of that. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.